Hi friends, this is Laura Clark. I am sorry there is no video, um, technical issues, but I want you to have this information more than I want you to see my face. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to talk today about the scientific discoveries that we learned about at convention, um, Dream Convention 2018, and um, the new release of the um, product, the Yarrow Palm, and what that means for our health and wellness. Let me open up my slideshow. So most of these slides did come from convention. Um, Emily Wright and Dr. Hill and two other scientists were there talking a lot about these new scientific discoveries and the products. And I'm just gonna kind of go through these slides and tell you um, in a little bit of an order to try to explain how the new scientific research actually affects the, um, is this my slideshow? Let's see, yes it is. Um, how it actually affects the knowledge of our product and the breakthroughs that this particular product has had. So um, one of the scientists that, that came, um, there has they actually started to study doTERRA oils without doTERRA's knowledge. Um, you know what, that's, that's gonna happen. And fortunately, we are with a company that we don't have to worry about transparency. We don't have to worry about the quality of our product. Anybody can order our oils and study them. It's not, um, this isn't the first time it's been done. We've had other third-party labs studying them. And um, so this particular research institute sent for a collection of doTERRA oils and started to study them. They also sent for collections from competitors and started to study them. What they found out was that every single essential oil, whether it's brand A or brand B, it has a unique fingerprint. And once they can determine the unique fingerprint, then they can start to um, sort of like separate out the chemical constituents and see how they not only work synergistically, synergistically within each oil. I'm not talking about a blend here. A single blend has uh, dozens if not hundreds of chemical constituents in it and they work in synergy with each other. The synergy of that and the, the different uh, amounts of the chemicals within one single oil, that is its unique fingerprint. So let's say they take a, um, a yarrow from one company and they take a yarrow from another company. Um, what they can do is they can um, demonstrate how they work. Let's say, for instance, the, just the uh, example that they gave us were within some liver cells. They actually were some cancerous liver cells. So they can apply these oils to um, maybe not the yarrow, but other oils like the copaiba, and apply them to the liver cells and see how they react with the liver cells, how they work through the pathways of that liver, those liver cells, and um, what the end result were. And it's a measurable thing, and maybe it's way over our head, but it's not over scientists' head. So what they discovered was an oil effect, and I don't have a slide for this, um, but let me just touch base on the oil effect. So the oil effect is that every essential oil that has the fingerprint has, let me grab my notes here. Um, it exerts a therapeutic relevant cellular effect. So again, that's synergistically within the chemical compounds. Now, um, they can also, number two is the effects as, are associated with the whole oil. So what they tried to do was to remove different chemical constituents from the particular essential oil, and they did not have the same outcome. They did not have, um, they could not be replicated once they started to deconstruct the oils and you take out certain um, chemical constituents, they could not come up with the same results. The other thing was too, they can, you can purchase certain oils, whether they're synthetic or whatever, but you can purchase certain, I'm sorry, not oils, but chemical constituents separately. So you can purchase a synthetic linalool. And when they did that, and they just tested the linalool in high quantities, it also could not replicate doTERRA's oil that they were testing as a whole oil. Then what they did was they took a competitor, competitor's brand, they called it Company 4, and they would um, 
test that oil. So let's say it's lavender with lavender. Um, it's the same oil. And what they found was that not only did it not replicate the uh, astounding findings that doTERRA's oil had, it was lower findings, it was less quality, but they can also nail it um, very quickly if, they're, if those are adulterated oils. So that's once there's several different lines of brand new scientific research there. But a breakthrough discovery is that every essential oil has a unique fingerprint and we can now visualize the biological effect of any essential oil on the different pathways of the human body. There's a lot of different pathways. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about yarrow. Yarrow is an essential oil. What that means is it is highly volatile. The molecules are super, super tiny. They have very high energy. They can sink into our dermis. They can sink into our um, blood supply or our bloodstream very easily. They can sink into the membranes of a fatty cell. So essential oils love fat. They are hyper, or as they are lipid uh, feel like they love fat. Uh, and uh, they are hydrophobic, which means they run away from water. Okay. So um, they are lipid soluble. So they dissolve right into, we put it on our skin, dissolves right in. So that's just like a quick little, um, summary of an essential oil. So yarrow is the essential oil in this particular product. So this is new packaging. No other company has done this. And what this is, it's not just a uh, essential oil mixed with the carrier oil. It's more than that this time. So the uh, pomegranate seed oil actually can be looked at as a carrier oil. It's a higher, mo a, a larger molecule and but it's nutritive so it has nutrients in it so the way that they package this duo this nutritive duo the new packaging will simplify internal and topical use applications so it's easy to drip right onto your skin you can use it onto your face onto your arms your hands anywhere topical for skin applications for anti-aging applications and then also you can see with this dripper bottle that it's going to be really easy to put a couple drops in a veggie cap and just take that on a daily basis so this is an oil that everybody's going to want to take on a daily basis whether you have health issues now this will be huge in the preventative um, category and it's also going to be really really huge and relevant and the categories where you've already got disease processes going on and you need some really amazing support for that so this is Emily Wright's hand she travels a lot this happened to be when she went to Africa and you can see on the left side the before using the yarrow palm uh, nutritive duo that she was very chapped and um, that within a week or a week and a half uh, her skin started to regain its healthy appearance. And then on the flip side of her hand, you can see um, a lot of dehydration. There's That's there in her knuckles. That's like one of the first places is on knuckles where you see dehydration in a hand. And then um, this is healthy skin here. So yarrow is a white flower. Um, it's actually a cluster of just a lot of white flowers on a larger white flower head and the green, uh, the stems and leaves are green. Um, every oil, uh, if you didn't know this, you do need to know this. Every single oil that we source has not just physical properties, but it has emotional properties. So yarrow, and those properties are very similar. Um, if you ever have a chance to get the Essential Oil Emotions book, you should get that. It's gonna help yourself and it's going to help your, you to help with your customers or just people that you care about that you're sharing oils with. And um, when somebody's having an emotional need, you can go straight to an essential oil and find out how that can address not just a physical need, but an emotional need. So yarrow is really awesome for um, purging emotions, for relieving um strong emotions, for protecting our vulnerability when we're having those vulnerability emotions. Yara is going to help to protect that and just for healing and mending of our emotions. So the thing is with the physical properties, as we're going to go through these slides, you're going to see how Yaro also works with purging physical um, things. It's going to purge toxins from our, our body. It, 
and from our bloodstream. It's going to relieve pain and inflammation. It's going to protect our neural pathways and our cholesterol pathways. There's going to be a lot of, this is a very uh, heavy hitting, protecting um, essential oil for all of our, I mean, you're going to see in a few minutes how it just really helps with every uh, system of the body. And for mending um, tissue repair, for uh, mending tissue destruction, it's going to really help in tissue repair. So you saw the flowers are right, the white, the stems are green, but a uh, chemical reaction that happens when they distill yarrow is the charmazeline really shows up uh, highly blue. So this is even more than blue tansy. Uh, there's more charmazeline than there is in yarrow than there is in blue tansy. And charmazeline, Emily Wright said it. So just to remember this, anytime you see a blue oil, think high antioxidant capability capacity. So there, like I said, yarrow is an essential oil. There are no vitamins in it. But interesting that the charmazeline, this chemical that's within the essential oil, has a higher antioxidant capacity than either vitamin C or vitamin E. This is something that's going to be important to remember because we're going to talk about immunity in a little bit. Beta-pinene is a chemical that's within uh, yarrow, there's lots of chemicals. You're going to see that in a minute. But beta pinene is in high quantity. So what it's going to happen is it's going to improve regulation of the cognitive processes like emotion, arousal, and memory through this system that I can't pronounce very well. So when you look at certain um, things on this list, like when I first look at them, I think right away these are hormone. These are um, hormonal fluctuations. So when you um, breathe these chemicals in. It's going to help support your emotions, your pleasure, motivation, reward. Those are like things that are in the amygdala and um, expressed out through the chemicals and relieved. So if you're ha if you're highly emotional, maybe you're being very reactionary. Um, the beta pinene chemical that's in the yarrow is going to help support that. Now when I look at cognition and executive reasoning, to me when I think about that, that is um, a little bit different than hormones. To me that sounds like a lot of neurogenesis. It sounds like um, being able to reason out information. It's not as much as a hormonal emotional thing as it is a uh, more of a, a tangible thing and you're able to have uh, more thorough thought, thought processes. And then also it does also help to support um, the pain. If it helps to support the pleasure principles in your um, brain, it's also going to help support um, um, pain pathways. So it's going to help to relieve that. How that works is if you just think of it just as some phone lines and how they connect one part to another, um, you're going to be talking here and relaying that information up here. So these long distant phone lines start in the subcortex um, and the brainstem and they transfer information through neurotransmitters, through neuropathways into the cortex and the limbic areas of the brain. And the limbic areas of the brain are exactly where um, emotions and hormones fluctuate. It happens so fast, it's just like nanoseconds. So these chemicals go in and they um, cause these interactions to happen and it happens very, very quick. So a system governing the monom monomine uh, neurotransmitter circuits, I mean, look at these. These are the feel-good um, chemicals that are in our brain. So it's going to really activate that, the dopamine and the serotonin. We're going to talk about serotonin on another slide because most of that serotonin is produced in the gut and not in the brain. But there is some activity in, in the brain too. So these are feel-good um, uh, you know, mood increasing hormones and uh, neurotransmitters. So the Yarrow helps to support that. So one of the most exciting things for me to um, learn about this Yarrow and to research about the, the Yarrow and to hear these scientific discoveries is that um, is the cardiac system. So Yarrow is going to help act as a tonic to rejuvenate the blood. We're going to talk about the pomegranate seed oil. They both will. 
both of them together, but right now we're kind of talking about just the yarrow singularly. So they, it acts as a tonic to rejuvenate the blood. It boosts the elimination of toxins from the, the body, right? There's the purging that we're talking about. Um, and it may help regulate blood vessel tone. That's important. People like to think about muscles. When you think about muscle tone, you think about like your strong biceps or your strong glutes or your abs. But really there's another type of muscle that is in a lot of different areas of our body. And it's called smooth muscle and it lines the insides of the blood vessel walls. And um, our blood vessels are not just empty pipes that move blood through it to help to pass it through, but the, there's smooth muscle on there that helps to move it along. There's a whole system of valves and smooth muscle and it helps to move that blood along more efficiently. And our, and our heart muscle that's pumping that through. So um, it may help to regulate blood vessel tone, allowing critical organs to function normally through enhanced circulation, metabolic function, and digestion. So just a little bit here, look at these three systems. So those are very inter, interrelated. Um, you, all of your... Uh, body systems aren't just yeah, like singular. You don't just have um, neural, uh, a brain and uh, CNS system. You don't just have a circulatory system. You don't just have a digestive system. Um, they are all interrelated. In fact, if you look at the digestive system and how interrelated it is to the liver and the pancreas um, and then the circulation, um, one when one loses function, uh, they all lose function. When one is running subpar, they usually all run subpar. And then likewise, if you can start to help your body heal in uh, one of those or two of those areas, it is also going to be a domino effect for overall wellness. So this is a slide that you may remember from the Copaiba release uh, last year in 2017's convention. Um, we're not going to cover a whole lot of this uh, for time's sake, but if you remember the three cannabinoids, the three cannabinoid chemicals, CBD um, does not act directly on CB receptor sites. A lot of people will say that it is not very um, reliable in their wellness and in the goals that they're trying to overcome, like sleeplessness and pain issues. They have um, hit and miss uh, effects with the CBD and that's because it's not a direct it is an enzymatic it's an enzymatic um, cascading of events that gives them any kind of result it's not a direct hit on a receptor site um, now THC I don't know about you maybe some people like this the psychoactive effects I would not be able to function on that I can't go to work Stoned, um, that is not a good option for me, whether to smoke it, to drink it, to eat it, whatever, not a good option. Uh, but what is a really powerful option is the BCP, the beta carophylline. So that's in a lot of the oils we have to some degree or another. It's very high in copaiba, and now it's going to be very high. You're going to see here in another slide or two, it's really high in the yarrow. So there is no CB1 effect, so you won't have the psychoactive effects. And um, the BCP has all the same benefits as the other cannabinoids. Um, and there is a direct hit on the CB2 receptor sites. It is not a cascading effect. It goes right to those CB2 um, receptor sites and it interacts and it gives a lot of very therapeutic amounts. Those therapeutic amounts are present and you have a very consistent and reliable therapeutic effect as compared to the CBD um, oils, which are not as um, consistent. So the endocannabinoid system, what that is, we're just touching base with that because BCP is huge in yarrow. Um, so the endocannabinoid system is um, a system that was a re of receptor sites that was discovered in sometime in the 70s, I believe. CB1 receptor sites are abundant in the brain and the CNS. So what that means is, you know, when you're triggering those, then you, that's where you're having the psychotropic effects. But CB2 receptors are more often found in the immune cells. The immunity system, you guys, so... Um, that's a big deal and so is the GI tract so do you remember what I said a, a little minute ago about the um, serotonin is 95 90 to 95 percent of it is produced that feel-good receptor and that feel-good um, chemical is produced in the get in the GI tract so if you have a healthy gut and these these CB2 receptors that are found in the GI tract and they're being triggered there, 
and you're getting some wellness and health there, then you're going to have more serotonin. It's also found in the peripheral. CB2s are also found in the peripheral nervous system. So that's in the, not just in the um, spinal canal and down your spinal cord, but also in all of your limbs and everywhere else in, this, in the peripheral nervous system. Let's talk a little bit about blue oils. This is where Dr. Hill came on stage and wanted to compare um, the differences between blue tansy, a very amazing oil. Um, Emily still is using it with this yarrow nutritive duo on her face and on her skin. Um, it's a really powerful combination of oils. Um, and so blue tansy does, they're just comparing, like to compare this because they have three chemicals um, in it. So you will find like if you we all love that uh, Essential oil life book, but if you actually turn to the modern essentials book and you open up about a particular oil There's going to be a whole list of chemicals there You might not care about what the chemicals are But you're going to start to see a pattern of how a lot of oils have similar character constituents in it just on a lot of different um, levels on a lot of different percentages. So um, blue tansy has three similar chemical constituents that's in yarrow, but look at the difference in the um, concentration of it. Uh, the beta carophyllene, again, that's BCP, that's a cannabinoid. It's good in blue tansy, but whoa, it's, what is that? That's like uh, seven times more than um, what's in the blue tansy. The Jeremy Cream D, Dr. I have not looked it up and Dr. Hill didn't go into that a lot, um, but it's, you know, 10 times, 11 times higher in yarrow. And then the Charmazeline, which is a huge anti-inflammatory and a huge antioxidant is much higher, um, you know, like 40% or more higher than what's in the blue tansy. So he also, you know, touch base on, do you remember how we talked about the fingerprint? If you take this out of this oil, um, you cannot reproduce the effects that it's going to have. You can't just take straight charmazeline and use it as a chemical. This is a chemical that's within an oil um, and get um, the same effects as you get when all of the oils are synerg synergistically and, and their numbers put together. So blue tansy is still an awesome oil, and we're talking about three of the many chemicals in it. So it does have different uses and similar uses as yarrow. But if you're going for the things, the um, certain things that we're going to talk about in another few slides, then you want to um, switch over to the, the yarrow. So this is, don't get hung up on this. It's just all it is is, um, a picture of a cascading effect of, a, of the inflammatory pathway. So inflammation, uh, if you didn't know this, inflammation is a good thing. When you have an injury, your body wants to send leukocytes to that injury, send um, red blood cells and all different kinds of things, corpuscles. It's gonna, you're going to feel like it feels warm, and that's because all of these cells, these um, Protecting and attacking cells are going to a site of an injury, whether it's an illness or an actual deformity type injury, and it's going to go there to help um, protect. And it actually, you have cells going there to help protect against your own body. So, um, and against those, those foreign agents. So um, that, when it happens like that in an acute process, that's a good thing. And um, it will go there, it will help to mend, it will help to repair, it will help to restore, and then it will slowly go away. The problem comes when it is a chronic issue and that cycle just keeps on going. An injury leads to inflammation, inflammation leads to more tissue disruption, which leads to more injury, which leads to more of those um, your body attacking it. So for instance, arthritis is a prime example of um, a bad cycle of inflammation. And what it does is um, it's almost, it, it is an autoimmune. So what's happening is the cycle is going on and on and on. And what it leads to is tissue disruption. Your um, bone tissue is starting to de degenerate and that's because it's constantly under attack from your own body. So charmazeline helps to uh, 
stop this process and it helps to stop a cycle of inflammation and bring it back into balance again. Let's talk a little bit about the pomegranate seed oil. And that is, like I said, no other company has done this. Companies have put together blends with carrier oils, but this is nutritive and the way that it's put together is more than just carrier oil. So pomegranate oil is composed primarily of punicic acid and a rare source of CLA. So conjugated linoleic acid, where you find that, besides, I don't know, uh, have any of you ever, um, like in making smoothies or like in making protein shakes, things like that, you can actually buy a CLA supplement. I mean, I don't, I don't personally trust things like that anymore. Um, you know, that you can get at Walmart or wherever, and you just scoop this CLA because it's an omega-5, so it's an omega fatty acid, so it has a lot of health values, um, and especially then if you can get it in a natural source. So CLA is usually found in meats and fatty meats and in high fat dairy products. So this is really um, an unusual and rare source because it is in a fruit. So this CLA is found in a fruit um, and it is an omega-5 and it has a lot of health benefits. Same with the punicic acid. They are both CLAs. Um, and what these CLAs do, just like a lot of omega-3s, um, omega-3s and omega uh, six or nines, I get those two confused, I'm sorry. But what they do is they help support our nervous system. They help support our cardiac system, our heart health. Um, they help support the immunity. And right here, we're gonna talk a little bit about metabolic function. So um, when we think about metabolic function, how many of you think about weight? You think about, oh, I wanna increase my metabolism and I wanna do aerobics more often. You, you look at metabolic function as weight and that's um, a common way to look at it but another way to really understand it is to understand that down to the cellular level this is what um, we're talking about here healthy metabolic function down to the cellular level every process that your body needs to do it needs to take metabolic enzymes to do it so down to the cellular processes just the pinging of cells going back and forth that takes that's a metabolic function your breathing takes metabolic enzymes it's a metabolic function you're moving just to stand up from a sitting position that takes a metabolic function so now when you're using this particular oil to support metabolic function it's not just it is about that and weight loss, but it's not just about that. It is supporting your metabolic functions down to the cellular level, and those metabolic functions are connected to every other system of your body, your breathing, your digestion, your neurological, your thinking, your hormones, your moods, everything. This is a big deal, and this is an all-inclusive oil for your body. Key point, on um, Yarrow's BCP, and pomegranate seed oils, punicic acid and CLA, they together, the yarrow and the pomegranate seed together, um, mixed together in this um, way that they've done it, exhibits synergistic effects for receptor sites. So we talked a minute ago about yarrow and the chemical constituents within just the yarrow alone and the synergy of how those chemical constituents work together. But now we've added another ingredient and we've added CLA and punicic acid in the pomegranate seed oils. So now we have like this big explosion of synergistic effects for receptor sites. It just like magnified everything. Let me explain this just a little bit more. So these are recept these are pathways, all right? So um, this is a cholesterol pathway, the HMGCR cholesterol pathway. This is the CB2. Um, we talked about that and how BCP affects the CB2 receptor sites. Um, everything from immunity. Okay, wait, that's the next slide. Let me get to that in a minute. And then this is the metabolic pathways. So the targets are these pathways. And here's the constituents. How, what is the punicic acid and the CLA affecting? It is um, interacting with the metabolic process. Um, we're gonna get to that a little bit more in a minute, but just remember punic, the CLA, just remember, forget punicic acid, just forget the big words, just remember the word CLA, it's an omega-5. It's going to affect the metabolic pathways. BCP, 
helps to affect and improve the CB2 receptor sites and the cholesterol receptor sites, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit more about the CB2 activation. When we take BCP and we want to ingest that, put it on topically, what that does, it's going to have a positive reaction on our CB2 activation, and it's going to um, support tissue disruption. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say the word re reverse or not, but it is an important um, hit on your CB2 reactor. Um, reactor receptor sites and it's going to help in tissue repair and then the BCP also works on your HMGCR that is the cholesterol receptor site and it's going to support a healthy cholesterol level so this is what we just talked about the last slide but now let's throw the punistic acid in here because we talked about how this is the metabolic pathway, but the metabolic pathway, we're so interconnected, like I was trying to get across a couple times earlier, the metabolic pathway also interacts with tissue disruption and fat or lipid support and metabolic support. So now we've got the CLA that's reacting with the metabolic pathways, and it's also going to help to support you away from tissue disruption and fatty support. That's um, everything from metabolic to heart pathways to the lipids in your blood, the lipids in your fat, um, that it's very, very all-inclusive. So cardiovascular health, this is just a really exciting discovery. This product is super exciting for everything cardiovascular. That's not just your health. Um, your heart, it is also your blood, your blood vessels and the muscle tone in your blood vessels. It's the cholesterol levels. That means cholesterol as far as your liver support. Liver support also comes from the blood supply to the liver. Um, and that whole organ as a, as a whole and how it's going to function and to support those cholesterol level, levels by getting rid of toxins and the muscle tone moving the blood through those vessels to clean out those vessels. Um, and it supports healthy heart tissue and function. I mean, seriously, uh, just go look up cardiovascular health or look up your blood supply, look up something, and you're going to see how all-inclusive this is. Um, it's not just your heart it's the cardiovascular system and, and it is a very large system i was talking a little bit about metabolic function i uh one of my um, talks i was having with somebody like this was me before i gained weight about six seven eight years ago this is me now so uh if you're if you are overweight um, think about you right here and what I'm about to say. If you are a normal weight, um, think about you here and what I'm about to say. So a normal weight person has a very high levels. Um, if they took their, I'm sorry, if they took their adipose tissue and they examined it, um, what the trend is in a normal weighted person and their, this is just fat cells, adipocytes are just fat cells, and their fat, the chemicals that are in there, they're very high in adiponectin. Adiponectin is a chemical that helps your um, metabolic uh, processes to function normally. So in a normal weighted person, that adiponectin is high. So just as a normal way of living, a normal weighted person at a panectin is their metabolic functions are just humming along nice, very well, all right, because at is high. And an obese person, an overweight person, those metabolic functions are not humming along well anymore because the adiponectin has dropped. It's not just the size of your fat cells, it's the chemical con, um, composition of the fat cells. And so in a normal weighted person, those fat cells have high adiponectin, very low resistant, and resistant is a chemical that's an antagonist to um, your pancreas and the insulin uh, insulin resistance. So there's very low resistance. So your insulin is working very efficiently. Your metabolic functions are working efficiently. Your insulin is working efficiently, and you have a very low tumor necrosis factor. So now let's look at the heavyweight person. Um, and when I was thin, I don't know. I mean, it was fairly. I stayed pretty much the same weight my whole life. 
um, it, it's small fluctuations and boy, I would love to have those small fluctuations now. And then after a lot of uh, years of stress and some things just going on in my life, a lot of sitting, a lot of sedentary, um, now, now I became obese working on that. You guys, I've lost 30 pounds and I can see myself self starting to return to a more of a normal metabolic function. It will take a while. Still got some ways to go, but as you lose weight, you will see improvement in these chem in these chemicals. So, um, okay. So in the heavy set person, adiponectin is low, Ad adiponectin is low. So those metabolic functions are they're struggling. So because of that chemical struggle, now your resistance is high. When resistance is high, insulin resistance is a problem. You are probably borderline diabetic, if not diabetic. And that is why type 2 diabetes um, happens as we gain weight and as we become sedentary. So as you start to exercise more and stop eating the sugars, this resistant, this uh, pinectane will go up, resistant will come down. That's what's happening with me. Tumor necrosis factor. <coughs> if you didn't know this, um, people who are overweight are at risk, not just for health disease and or heart disease and um, diabetes and things like that, but you're at risk for tumors. You're at risk, risk for cancer. Your cancer risk just went up. So um, let's get all of these factors back down and get our adiponectane back up again. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but it is a vicious cycle. Did you know that your fat in your body, they have now determined that um, body fat is um, an organ. It is a uh, fat organ. It's a hormonal organ. So the fat in your body, as, as we, you know, become menopausal and get sedentary and we start to gain weight, um, those are from hormonal changes and bad cycle at the fatter you get, especially belly fat, it messes up your hormones even more. Like it is a contributor. It, it was a result of hormone changes and sedentary lifestyle and um, poor eating, but then now that you've got the fat, it is a contributor to bad hormones. It's going to make your hormones um, even more bottom out. So everything from estrogen to progesterone um, and, and even testosterone, ladies, we have some of that in our bodies too. So as you get fatter, you're messing up your hormones to stay fat or to keep getting fatter. So it takes a lot of work. It's going to, once this happens, it takes a lot of work to get past this. Um, so if you're thin, stay thin, stay active. And if you're not thin anymore, get this yarrow in your body and um, start doing some things to um, really help to get rid of these this bad cycle that's going on. So um, Dr. Hill recommends using Yara one to two drops in a capsule two times a day for a healthy metabolic support, for a healthy cardiovascular system, for a healthy neurological system, for a healthy immunity system. Any system you want to, uh, just, just start taking Yara every day. Just start taking every day. And you can also apply it topically to your skin to soothe your skin, and it's great with, um, in combination with frankincense and cedarwood. And that actually does sound pretty amazing. So um, I am gonna touch on something. Let me go back to the slide so I don't distract you. Um, I just wanna touch on really quick. I, I wish I could see what the time was that I was at, but um, a couple things that happened while we were at convention. So a friend of ours who um, I won't name, I mean, that's up to her to do. She wants to tell her story, but um, uh, she has a condition known as metabolic syndrome. So you know how we are talking about metabolism is not just um, weight based. It affects every system in your body. So a metabolic, me metabolic syndrome is a syndrome that is getting um, your, yep, your pancreas and possible diabetes or hyperglycemia, um, heart health that's affecting your heart and your liver and all these different parts of your these organ systems and how they're just all out of whack it's it's a uh, a little bit it's worse than just diabetes because it's getting everything else out of whack um, and that is called metabolic syndrome so 
this friend of ours, so that, uh, okay, so Dr. Hill actually came to our par our party. We had a dream team party and there were at least probably, I don't know, at least 40 of us, maybe 60, maybe more people there. And he visited us at our party. It was amazing. And he stood up on a chair and he talked to us and answered questions and just really spoke from his heart. He's a very sincere, genuine man who I truly believe wants nothing more in this world, but for wellness to uh, um, come back to this country and to this world. Um, he is, you know, obviously he's a doctor, he's a chiropractor and um, very passionate about essential oils and wellness. So he talked to us very genuinely about sharing these oils with people that we care about and getting the oils um, on people to change the health of this country. Well, I didn't know it, but our friend had gone out into the hallway. He was with his wife and he probably had a uh, bodyguard with him, security with him. Um, and our friend went out into the hallway and I told you she has metabolic uh, syndrome. So as he was getting ready to pass her, she stopped him and asked him a very pointed question about this product, about yarrow palm. And I can, um, I, I'm sure you can imagine the question that she asked him, but it was very pointed. And she said, is what you're telling us about this product, um, she used different words, I'm sure, but she said, is this a product that we can use singularly to help to support our body through this syndrome? And he said, that's exactly what I'm saying. So she came in crying and uh, we thought she was just starstruck like I was because Dr. Hill was there, but it was more than that. Our friend just received word from the founder of this company that she has hope now to help her get control of this syndrome that she's been dealing with for Lord knows how long. All right. So now I had actually also, I think it was the day after this, Nicole Parrish, who is one of our top scientists, she was out talking uh, in our convention center out in the showcase area. And we saw her there and we we're just like gushing and she went over, we went over to her, at, you know, and another, this company is just so genuine and so sincere and so giving. She just hugged us. We asked, she let us ask her some questions. Um, and I wanted, I had some specific questions. And one of them was what I had suspected that I had, was hearing when the people were talking about this product. And in fact, Dr. Hill talking about this product, what he cannot say on stage, I wanted to know if I was interpreting that right. You got to read between the lines, but I don't want to just assume. But what I'm gathering up with the, you know, the little bit of knowledge that I have about the body and the body systems and what he's saying and trying to put this puzzle together in my mind. And I asked Nicole Parrish if that's what I was, if I was coming to this conclusion correctly. And um, I asked her some very direct questions and she said, yes, I'm coming to these conclusions correctly. So um, my other question was, are there more of, of this kind of product to come? Are there more of these nutritive duos, these um, neutro, nutritive complexes? I mean, you can almost call them a nutraceutical. Um, and are there more of them to come to help with all the different body systems and the disease processes that are out there? And she said, yes, they already have more that they're working on. And when the tech, um, when they have a final result, these products will be released. They are not going to withhold these amazing oils and these amazing oil combinations from um, this country and from us. So get on Yarrow. Let me just recap a little bit here. Yarrow Palm Active Botanical Nutritive Duo, ninety-five dollars wholesale. Um, um, if you hey, you know what? If I'm at the thirty percent every time I order one of these. Um, I'm going to be making, I'm going to, on LRP, I'm going to get uh, just about $30 back in free product. So, and product, product points. So if you're going to get on your palm or, and on the supplements, which everybody needs to be on both, I'm convinced of that. Get on LLV, get on your palm, get on LRP. So you get the best prices and you start getting a lot of points back to spend on free oils. So Yara Palm uh, promotes powerful antioxidant 
support. This is just a recap of everything we just talked about. Promotes cellular immune and nervous system health. It supports a healthy metabolic function and it is soothing to the skin and calming to the mind and body. It's anti-aging to restore youthful skin and it can help maintain blood pressure already in the normal range. So um, get yarrow, get LLB. I tell everybody that here are the three ways that you can use yarrow. You can use them all, all three different ways and it is worth 95 PB. So get the stuff. You know what I recommend? Go check your, if you're having any kind of lab issues, any kind of cholesterol, high blood pressure lab, go get checked out. Uh, get a mini physical, get your numbers and have them have the proof down there. Start proving in your own life that these oils are amazing. Take it for a month or two or three and then go back and have your levels checked again and see what the difference is. All right. So guinea pig yourself. It's safe to do. Work with your doctor. Help to convince your doctor that this stuff is amazing. Love you guys. I will talk to you later. And I hope that you found some value and a little bit of the science and the knowledge of how things work and how it works within your body. Take care.